Alright guys, today we'll be checking out the full gaming test for the LG uh, Velvet here as requested. Let's go ahead and get started with my favorite game Call of Duty Mobile. And uh, one of the first things you'll notice, you'll see a little icon right here on the Velvet. And uh, you have a couple of controls. So you have mute media, uh, disable your alerts. You have AI game optimizer. You can search in YouTube, take a screenshot, take a break. And then you can adjust uh, your graphics and uh, frame rates from right here uh, as well, which is pretty cool. So on Call of Duty Mobile, we can run very high, very high frame rates or we can do max and high. Let's just go ahead and do very high. And uh, one of my favorite things about this phone is the display. It's a very nice display. Uh, it does have a slight curve to it. You have a little notch, but other, other than um, that, it's a really nice display. It's an OLED display, huge, huge display, and just looks really nice and vibrant. Gets pretty bright as well. And the speakers on here are pretty good as well. Makes the experience really good. Uh, you have one down here, one right here, and they're pretty loud. Now, from me using this phone, uh, this phone does not really get hot. It's actually one of the cooler phones. Ah. But this game runs super smooth. Let's go ahead and put it on max frame rates high. As you can see, just buttery smooth uh, on here. Ah. Alright, let's go ahead and move on to the next game. Alright, so we're in Fortnite and check out the graphics we're on 3d resolution 100 percent we're on epic and we're on 30 fps it's pretty good the game looks really good and it runs really smooth too and like i said i know i keep saying it but the display is just really nice Yeah, this is one of the warmer phones. I mean, not one of, one of the cooler phones, um, temperature-wise. Now, um, remember guys, this phone has a dual screen case accessory, so uh, you can take gaming to another level on this phone. And um, you can just be multitasking. I've seen people play two games at once. Uh, so I'm looking at the FPS, it looks like we're capped at 20 it's like it's going yeah it's like at 20 frames though the highest I see it is hitting um it's hitting 26 but it's more at like 23 so now nah, yeah it's not really it's not keeping 30 frames per second so I wonder if I See, I have it on Epic. If I turn it down, turn my 3D resolution down. 
yeah now we're hitting now we're hitting 30 frames per second so it, this game maxed out isn't going to give you that 30 frames per second because if I go back put 30 resolution up see we're at like a solid 25 frames and we're kind of getting like stutters yeah yeah we're getting like stutters when we max everything out so and I mean it's playable at the highest settings but if you're playing like competitively you might not want those little stutters and jitters so I would like bring the 3d resolution down a little bit you can still have it on epic but I would bring the, the 3d resolution down or you can just play on high settings see now it's not see and it's not really jerking anymore now like it's little jerks here and there yeah see yeah so as you guys can see you guys can see that so again playable at the highest settings but if I were you I would turn it down a little bit the 3d resolution down to maybe like 85 and that way you know it's not as jerky but the graphics and everything still uh, look pretty great all right so we're in PUBG and check out the graphics so we're on HD and high frame rates we can't go to HDR or ultra uh, HD with this chip and uh, yeah so the game still looks really good to me visually it still looks good but you know there are are limitations with this chip so it's not a flagship chip it is sort of like a you know upper you know mid tier chip so you can play some games on high on the max settings and some you can't so definitely sort of like a mid range chip here but it still looks good everything still looks really good and super smooth as well and as far as heat is concerned um, I don't see a problem with heat uh, with this phone at all yeah guys it's still just it's, it looks really good though so I don't see a problem with gaming on this phone Alright guys, so if you are, you know, thinking about getting the uh, Velvet for gaming, uh, it's definitely a good device for gaming considering the price and you get the dual screen case with this phone as well. So, um, yeah, it's very, very um, competitive in this space. I think it's a really good purchase for uh, that and just multitasking in general. Uh, if you like to game and multitask, you have the dual screen case. It's going to be a really great um, experience here. So thanks for watching this video and I will catch you guys uh, in the next one.